Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video of How To Earn Tips. We must know that the bike frame is one of the most important components of an e-bike. When purchasing, we must pay attention to the weight and the strength of the bike frame and also the rigidity and size of the frame. The frame performs differently based on the material. The steel frame has high durability and high hardness, but it is relatively heavy and it is more laborious to ride. The performance of aluminum alloy and titanium alloy frames is slightly higher than that of steel frames. The performance of carbon fiber frames is even better, but also the price is relatively high. First, let's talk about the steel frame. The steel frame has the advantages of high durability, good shot absorption, and high hardness. However, due to the heavy weight of the steel frame, it will produce slight deformation when overloaded. It will also absorb pedaling force, decreasing the riding efficiency. Then the aluminum alloy frame, which has the advantages of good handling performance. The aluminum alloy frame is light in weight and not easy to rust. However, because the frame is light in weight, when riding, you can feel a strong sense of bumps and vibrations when on bumpy roads. Next, let's talk about the titanium alloy frame. The titanium alloy frame has a beautiful appearance and high strength, and its durability is great and weight is also light. However, the titanium alloy frame is relatively easy to deform and the price is relatively expensive. If there's any problem with the titanium alloy frame, the repair fee is not a small amount. Last, let's talk about the carbon fiber frame. The carbon fiber frame is the lightest among the four frames. In the professional area, we know the carbon fiber frame is widely used and recognized by professional riders. The carbon fiber frame has better shock absorption, performance, and also higher durability. However, because the production process of carbon fiber frame requires a lot of manual work and the scrap rate is very high, resulting in a large increase in cost. As a result, the carbon fiber frame is very expensive. So, how do you choose your bike frame? First, check the frame weight. For a mountain bike, the lighter the frame, the better. The lighter the bike, the less energy it consumes when riding, and it saves effort when riding. First, check the frame weight. For a mountain bike, the lighter the frame, the better. The lighter the bike, the less energy you will consume when riding, and that means you can ride effortless and speed up easily. Second, check the strength of the frame. The strength of the bike frame refers to whether there will be a safety hazard of the frame breaking and bending when riding. Because if the frame breaks when riding, that is very serious problem, especially when riding at high speed, very dangerous. Third, check the frame size. When purchasing, pay attention to the size of the frame. Because different people have different heights and weights, so you should choose according to your height and weight. If you're tall and you can choose a step over model, and if you're not tall or you have some physical problems, you can choose a step through model, and you must choose according to your own situation. We must choose a suitable bike. Price, weight, strength, and size are all points that we need to pay attention to when purchasing. Choosing a bike that suits us will bring more pleasure to our riding. Well friends, if you like my sharing and haven't followed us yet, please click to follow us and oh, don't forget thumbs up. Dear riders, let's see you next time. The lighter the bag, bike, the better and... <laughs> Last, let's talk about the fiber... What fiber? Carbon fiber, sorry. <laughs> this is our train. <laughs> Cargo train! <laughs> what?